Hello and welcome to my tournament run of Blaze Blue EU Open Regrown 19. I mean, the name is longer than Salt EU, so that's bad, but at least the number is not a digit one. So yeah, this is my first match in this tournament against Oleva, or he named himself Fate Monog Atari, so this is always something that's difficult because not everyone has the same name in-game than they do in the EU system and stuff. But yeah, this is against Hakumen, so in general, it's an interesting matchup because both characters are actually quite the trucks in terms of damage. But Kagura being the more consistent offensive truck and Hakumen being complete and utter menace when he's on defense. Because as you see he has those counter moves and whenever I hit them, boom. He can get a combo of it and he gets more resources because he has a different time type of meter than everyone else in the game. The Magatama system, and depending on the Magatama system, he of course has access to different moves that are sometimes very strong, sometimes less strong, but all in all, it makes sense. So, Hakumen without any Magatama is actually a cute little kitten, but once he gets them, he's actually the lone wolf and white mask you see here. Fun fact. Hakumen is written in katakana, so no one will ever know what is supposed to be the meaning of his name. However, you could put kanji for white and mask in there. Mask or face. So it's white mask or white face. If you decide to do this. But other than that, we all know him as the white void of the cold steel. Speaking of Cold Steel, I'm eating a lot of that. And he has a very... He has a distinct place that being more defensively than other Hakumens. And we also played a longer set on the Wednesday Weekly on Hard Edge by Ao Shoujo. And he essentially broke me down that time. But I'm still holding on my ground. Also hitting me with the Austrian. And it's again a tough match. It's an interesting matchup, and honestly, I believe it's slightly in Hakumen's favor, but only slightly. Because we essentially have to take more risks than him, and he has all the tools to punish us for doing so. But we, of course, as Kagura players, can bait his attempts to do so and then hit him hard very consistently. If I wasn't as slow as I was, if I was just a little bit earlier, then I could have get, got 4k easy. So that's the thing about this matchup, which makes it almost even, but I'd say slightly in Hakumen's favor. And it's actually a stare down right now. I could have had it here. If I just rapid cancelled and continued to combo, I could have had it, of course he got his burst back, so not really having it then. And here he got me. Actually this was a lot closer than I had it in my memory. The unfortunate thing is that he had connection issues. And as such, he disqualified himself from the tournament and gave me a win by default. Which is always sad because I would have loved to play it out. Maybe I would have lost, maybe not, we never know. This put me against Zeke next, who is calling himself Nesca 6,11. So for some context for everyone who doesn't know, I believe Nesca is some kind of arcade board. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course, in the comments. I always love to farm comments. And... Um, <laughs> One of Euro's best players named themselves after it, and so they call themselves Nessica too. So of course he is just uh, memeing here and saying he 
will be the next Nessica, or rather he's maybe Nessica but not as good. Z is mostly playing Platinum in this phase, but he also has the Hakuman. And he completely, I mean completely is maybe a bit hard, but because I got him to 20% health, but he destroyed me. Okay, I don't know why I got, got hit there. And me hitting these big buttons even though I'm fairly close is a bad habit I need to break. But of course I'm too feared of accidentally getting B orb out, so I'm not using 6B as much as I should. There's actually an input technique that you can use, where you input it as 646 and then B orb never can comes out. But of course that's a more difficult input for what should be basic. And this could have been lots of damage if I followed up. But this time, and he doesn't decide to burst, even though he totally could have after my meter commitment. And here, this is what I said with the counter. Doesn't do much for on himself, but just giving him his turn back is so fatal in this matchup. Because when they are on top, there's not that much we can do other than, of course, block and then tough me in the right spot. Or maybe 5A or 2A in the right spot. But that's, of course, easier said than done. And after all, you could win every game with any character if you never got hit. But also for the match record, so far I haven't won against Zeke in tournament. So actually making it close is already somewhat of an accomplishment. Which is fun if you think about it. Considering I said the same thing about the panda. So maybe there's something in my mind holding me back and I need the blue lock power up and become a true egoist. Actually, Swallow Moon, the attack when she's on the cloud thingy in the air. This kinda weird air option lets you stall out stuff. And it's actually a very good overhead. Of course, not leading to too much, but those small hits also add up. This was an agreeable burst, I believe. <laughs> and yeah, it becomes a jump fest. Sadly, Lindworm has no invul. If it had, so that would be the dream. That would be the best, the best super in the game, I call it. I mean, it's already the best super in the game. I mean, it's called Lindform. How awesome is this? It's a German special. Oh god, I sound like a complete national dude. Of course, I could also play uh, a Valkenhain if that was my criteria for selecting a character. I need to learn how and if I can punish my circular on block. So, there's quite a lot on my versus platinum to do list, to be honest. We should lap out. And of course, I could also maybe uh, put out some other resources, like read the entirety of the Kagura Discord. The entirety, I mean, is a platinum channel. 
this was actually uh, pretty unnecessary, but apparently they didn't want to do this. But I mean style points, you know? I wish I would have taken this around just to have a smug face because taunting is one thing but then running around until you get danger is the other thing. But yeah, we can't always get what we wish for, so let's just be reasonable human beings and get the next one, which is against ice and TUD or ice isn't it? It's always difficult. Why can't you use reasonable names like Don Vippo? Everyone knows it's Don Vippo. Even though every announcer everywhere all the time says Don Vipo and they don't know how to pronounce it. I mean Don Vipo would be also cool because of Vyvan! As I talk about other stuff, I'm actually doing quite well. Fly Sweater doing a lot of work. I can repeat what I said in my match against me. Because only zoning out will not work against Kagura and of course if I get those hits they hurt. They really really hurt. Whereas Rachel has surprisingly high damage but not necessarily on average. Just getting those hits in. In terms of player skill or elo rather. Isn't to this match a little bit above me? Of course, before we play it. So there's a little bit of Elo on the line. They get a good combo and they get a, a good position afterwards, but look at how little damage this does. Versus how, little, how much damage this does. It's like. Night and day. But I didn't get this off the ground. OTG in fighting game slang. And it just gave them another chance, but still closed it out. At this point, I actually believe that uh, <laughs> the Rachel matchup might be good for us. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's really good, good, probably, but it's a lot better than you'd think. Because Rachel is most of the time considered the top tier. And if I compare this matchup against other top tier contenders, then I take the Rachel matchup any day. But damn, did I get destroyed. Down there, they, they put up ridiculous damage for Rachel, put me in the corner, pressured me, all the good stuff. And meanwhile, I just swing with me. My character is busted. I always say triple S tier, but recently I upped the stakes and call him quadruple S tier. Yeah, but it's just some patience and a little bit of jumping around and I turned it around. This is Kagura. This is peak Kagura gameplay. I mean, I should implement more they got pressure, because again, my pressure is almost non-existent, but it's not hurting me as much as I still get the hits in. Again, they put me in the corner, it's exactly like last round. And I even hero bursted here there. For anyone who doesn't know hero bursting, it's essentially the term whenever someone does the burst, it's not very smart because they are low on health and they should rather save the burst. Okay, they try to uh, they fill up the Sylphid Gorge, they need to uh, use the wind. So, in terms of Archetypes, as I do my combo here. Rachel is a trap style character. And uh, she's using the wind to control both her traps, herself, and her opponent. That make her very difficult to play, but also very rewarding. But not rewarding enough because Kyra's next there. <laughs>
Next up, I'm playing against Ragnar, and this is fairly easy in terms of matchup because Ragnar is more aggressive and has the upper hand in neutral, but Hago has strong defenses and higher damage output. Maybe it's a little bit like the Hakuman situation where they have a slight upper hand. Anyhow, this is German Lioness, is very good. And funnily enough, even though he's called German Mayonnaise, I believe he's not German. So he just likes German Mayonnaise. Which I'd say is understandable, but honestly, I'm the kind of guy who eats his food without any sauces or toppings. Because why should I why should I slaughter the tastiness of beef and pork and stuff? Meat is just amazing. But back to the match. Yeah, he's, he was even using the mean 5D in neutral, and he's hitting me with it. I didn't get the punish, even though this was the worst overdrive there. He's completely destroying me here. Running offense, running safe pressure, all the good stuff. Meanwhile, I'm just jumping around, hoping to, to get a, to hit JC and put this match back in my favor. And this was such a bad punish, but better a bad punch than none. Sadly not a punish in this case, and he gets me with Hell's Fang. And so he goes up the round in the match, and there's at least one other match coming, maybe two, who knows? He fucking is sometimes being difficult to convert. And he gets a 6A reading really jumping too much. Luckily I was too far away from him for his 60 to hit me, but here yeah, I didn't take and I eat 3.6 damage, no, more, 3.7 damage, I grab him in return, I believe, yeah, I drop the combo, sadly, and he gets it back with the Chrono Divider. Yeah, he dropped that because if he just put me down there, then he would have won. Maybe he wanted to style on me. Maybe that's the case. You never know. Also seeing the black beast in the background. So maybe tell me in the comments what your favorite place blue pet would be. I'd probably say the little bunnies that hop around and are just like one fluffy circle or a fluffy ball. But maybe you want the black beast at home. And maybe your black beast at home is just a dead spike. <laughs> yeah, back at the match. I believe the 5D in the dead spike was not expecting to hit the 5D. This happens surprisingly often to me as well. And this was actually such a smart OD. And also, what a nice confirm. You know, my Ragnar is nowhere near this level. And sadly, my Kagura apparently. German minus one, and maybe I should use sauces and topping in the like for my meat and potato dishes too. But yeah, this was Blaze Blue E Open Regrown 19, or rather my run of it. I will have a link to the full tournament, three matches in the description, of course. Blaze Blue E Open Regrown is a tournament that uh, happens every month once, 
but there's also a weekly on the server so we can also get exhibition matches every week when the tournament is not running so that's also fun i highly recommend it and maybe we will see each other there on the tournament have a good time if you like this video subscribe and like it like actually press a button right now i'm telling you but yeah that's it from me so see you soon bye bye